Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ichimoku.co chart of the day. Next we'll go over to the FX space and the Euro US dollar and here we see a bullish market in all three time frames on the daily charts trading above the cloud, the Kijin Sen, the Tank Sen, strongly supported by the Chicka Span and this market has been up for quite some time since uh, early uh, April uh, uh, this year trading above uh, the cloud and the Kijin Sen indicator. Um, for today we see the emergence of a very small body count with a large shadow on the top and this suggests that uh, this trend here is just starting to look a little overdone to the upside in a, on a minor time scale. Um, we have seen the uh, buyers lose commitment as evidenced by this large shadow and the uh, buyers certainly not making a strong net momentum between the open and the close anymore and it has primed the market for a first time frame change of trend. Now on any change of trend which has to be confirmed, it would be confirmed by a lower high, lower low, we will be looking for strong support to come in around that swing high, roughly about the 119 level. And just around there we also have the Tankerton indicator at uh, 118.88 and that's an area where we should see some significant support come in on any retracement. And that 118.76 level uh, was a previous significant area of support and it's just below that uh, tanker sand and it does strengthen the potential for support around that area. Now just looking at our trending uh, price action here and we have seen uh, previously the uh, setup of a uh, higher trough here and as we took out that previous peak we have had establishment of a second time frame uptrend. So here previously uptrend, series of higher peaks, higher troughs, downtrend, lower peaks, lower troughs and now a higher peak, higher trough, and here we have a trough, peak, higher trough, and higher peak as we talk at that previous peak. So establishment of a second time frame, change of trend to the upside a couple of days ago. Now just using the uh, Fibonacci extension technique here to examine the relationship of this first time frame uptrend to the immediate previous first time frame uptrend. And here today we saw the market uh, testing through the 161.8% level. The rejection from there has been strong and it does set the market up for that change of trend to the downside in the first term time frame. And uh, we will, as always, look for confirmation with a lower high and a lower low. But this is suggesting that there is a, uh, a possibility of that change of trend occurring off the back of this very strong rejection from above the 161.8% level. And also looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool, and it's only a very small first time frame downtrend that we're examining the relationship to. Um, the market has been extending through there. We have an extension through the 100% level. We did test through the 261.8% level, which was quite close to that uh, uh, other 161.8% level with the other technique. And the rejection here from here also suggests that there is a strong possibility of a first time frame change of trend to the downside. And just bearing in mind that any first time frame change of trend could be short lived because we'll be looking for support to come in uh, either just around this swing low, around the tank 10 or just below it, that previous support and resistance level. Now just using the major pitchfork technique here and interestingly uh, now that we have that uh, second time frame uptrend uh, develop we're examining that second time frame uptrend, the immediate previous second time frame downtrend and that immediate prior for, for a second time frame uptrend and here we saw today the market testing exactly to that upper pitch, pitchfork line being rejected from there with the sellers taking control away from the buyers sending the market up for a change of trend. If we look here the extent of any down move and no guarantee that we will see a down move but if there is a confirmed change of trend we will be looking for support to come in at the median line which is around that previous swing high and very close to the tank and send indicator. So a lot of factors uh, we're seeing um, uh, a lot of factors come in with this confluence of uh, of uh, indications around the tank and send indicator around this 119 region. If the buyers do uh, come back into this market, we will be looking for continued resistance for today, very close to the previous high, which is around that uh, uh, previous pitchfork level around 120.68 roughly. And just looking at the minor pitchfork technique and we are at the second warning line and we did extend through there also through the first warning line the rejection from there has been strong looking for a change of trend we could see some minor support on any change of trend at the upper pitchfork line for today 119.34 if we extend it back up through uh, or we will be looking for initial resistance at the first warning line firstly 119.93 possibly up through to the next uh, second warning line at 120.57 roughly.